Hey everyone, I am Adrienne Cobb. I am a uh, spiritual teacher and intuitive messenger. Um, back when I was uh, younger, about 15, I had a uh, near-death experience um, through a car accident and in that experience it tapped me into being able to work and listen to um, the angelic realms, ascended masters, as well as uh, probably most significantly being able to listen to people's souls. And so that's something that I specialize in with people is tuning into them and um, listening to the different frequencies of their soul energy, their soul blueprint, anything that might need to be cleared or kind of cleaned up along the way to help to navigate their life in a greater and more harmonious way. So if you could, I would love to uh, thank you for being here with me today. And I'd love to see where anybody's at. If you want to put it in the chat box to let me know um, wherever you might be coming in from. And it looks like some of you might have even taken the Tribe of Light quiz. Um, one of the things when I had the new experience that became very significant, I've just done thousands of sessions with people over about the last 30 years, is that uh, we all have tribes and councils of light that work with us. Um, and that can be anything from the cosmic avatars to the galactic councils, planetary light beings, star tribes, the angelic host, um, and then some subsets with the ascended masters and the nature kingdom. And they're all super valuable to us in helping us to move forward with our life path. Um, for this particular call, what we'll be doing is working very specifically with Mary Magdalene, who is a uh, Mary Magdalene, who is a being that I uh, do work with, and um, have a certain uh, connection with in terms of working with her galactic and cosmic councils of light. And we're going to be introducing you to not only the energy with Mary Magdalene, but also an opportunity to um, join in with her emissaries of light, so that. Um, it's not really adding something more to your life path, one more to-do list on your thing to, to do this lifetime. But what she does is she comes in and she begins to enhance whatever your life path is, and she'll elevate it. She um, elevates it and takes it to a higher potency, and then the galactic and um, cosmic beings that she works with will come in and start expanding it through your energy field. And so it's like adding a whole new support system into your energy field. Um, so that is one thing. Um, all right. So anyway, so the Tribe of Light quiz is here in the chat. Um, you're also welcome to go to my website, mywildmagic.com, and it's listed there. Take the quiz, figure out where you're uh, you know, who you might be, you know, just breathe into your heart, answer from your heart, and you'll find that maybe the tribe or council of light you work with um, will show up and you'll get some information on that. And uh, it's super fun to really be able to start expanding our intuition and connecting on that level. Um, all right. So we got some people in here from the cosmic councils of light that were showing up. And uh, let's see here. Looks like there is also, my kitty fountain is making too much noise. So hang on a second. I'm going to turn that off for a second. <clears throat> okay. So thank you, Judith. Judith is my fabulous business manager who keeps everything rocking and rolling for me and my business. Okay. So, um, if everybody wants to get into a comfortable position, comfortable place, um, and we're going to go ahead and begin. Um, and how I usually start is really just kind of starting with a, um, like a clearing prayer, just to clear the energy. I do work in a quantum prayer field, and we will be soul traveling a bit. And where we're going to be headed tonight in um, our uh, work with Mary Magdalene and for International Women's Day across the world is where we're going to be actually going into her temple of light. So the ascended masters and some of the angelic beings have um, etheric realms, etheric temples. Now, Mary Magdalene's temple, um, most of the ascended master temples and retreats are sort of within the sphere of the earth. In other words, they might be around the 
uh, the Teton retreat, the Mount Shasta retreat. There's some retreats in Mount uh, in Sedona. There's retreats in Banff, Canada, Fiji, etc. And they can either be within the ocean, you know, like um, within an ocean realm or in a mountain realm, even in a desert realm. But Mary Magdalene's energy goes further out into more of a uh, more of a, a I don't know, kind of um. A universal realm. So when we travel tonight, you're going to feel that you're in your body, but that you very easily and gracefully are able to soul travel up and out. And I'll be guiding you um, with that, with the assistance of Mary Magdalene. When we're in her temple, what happens is that it'll start to, um, it's, it's going to be a really awesome place to start being downloaded with frequencies of light, that are going to be governed specifically for you and your life path and your soul blueprint. Um, some of these frequencies are also, depending on your capacity and your interest, will also be guided to download into the earth. And so this particular evening, we're not only expanding your DNA and these um, higher frequencies and light codes coming in for your own life path to be enhanced and uh, really kind of awakened and enlivened, but also a blessing for the earth um, and all sentient beings. And so it's just an incredible gift of service where you're receiving this gift. And then we're also um, giving a gift back out as we're being this channel for these higher rays of light. And so it's this beautiful infinity symbol of light um, that's occurring and having the energy of the order of the Magdalene's and the divine feminine back that as we go through it. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and begin then. So <clears throat> I just want to close our eyes and... Um, Taking a deep breath. So closing our eyes and just taking in a deep breath. We're just finding our center space as we're returning back inward. I just want you to imagine, if you can imagine this um, tube of light coming down from your hips, down into the electronic grid of the planet, into the Earth Soul Star Chakra beneath about 18 inches beneath your feet, and going all the way down into the heart of the Earth. Almost as if we're going to start with this first, actually, just going in. And if you can imagine this, this ray of light, you might also notice like a waterfall of light or tree roots really grounding you into the electronic grid of the planet and your sacred earth star and just feeling yourself getting really harmonized there and as this field of light begins to expand around your body as if you were <clears throat> kind of in an elevator and allowing this elevator to continue down continuing all the way down into the heart of the earth, opening up <clears throat> into this cave with this luminescent light in the heart of the earth. And just feeling how peaceful and how quiet it is. How much wisdom is stored here from eons, millions of years of evolution. Seeing different, different root races, different group of souls, different, you know, the uh, Hyperboreans, the Lemurians, the Atlanteans, the humans, you know, all these different root races that have come before us, all this ancient wisdom within the earth. And that um, luminescent, glowing, cosmic-like fire that's at the center of the earth and the consciousness of the earth itself. So just feeling the consciousness of the earth itself.
It's very ancient, sacred. Wisdom and the pulsing heartbeat of the earth, that, that slow heartbeat of the earth and just coming into rhythm with a one heart breath into the heart of the earth. And a lot of times the, the more grounded we are in our body, the more evolution we're able to bring to um, our spirit. So it's almost like evolving and ascending the physical body into higher vibrational resonance, but yet descending our higher consciousness and that sacred fire love that each of us come into this planet with. So it's like this really nice balance between evolving the body, the vibrational resonance, our fine-tuned intuition, cells, DNA, but yet descending our consciousness, sacred fire love, and um, higher frequencies and downloads of light. And so, again, just feeling that sacred place in the earth and just asking the earth, is there any way, anything that in this moment, before we go further out, is there anything that it can support you with? Is there anything that you want to let go of? Any um, thought forms, any negativity, fear, discord, human effluvia, spin inversions? That we can just um, let go into the earth. Any worries, concerns, emotions, thought forms, anything that we've been carrying any people, any situations, any concerns about the world itself, and just dropping it into the earth. Knowing that the earth is like this beautiful uh, composting agent that's able to take the carbon dioxide of our air, take our waste, take everything about us, our emotions, and it knows how to compost it and make something beautiful out of it. So the earth has got this. Right, it's really got this. And so, again, just letting uh, all this energy, any pains or aches, worries, concerns, mental or emotional, physical, spiritual energies. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and also just uh, clear the energy um, of the collective, anything that we are tapped into, because most of us and anybody who would be on this call is probably going to be more aligned to this energy. Uh, of the collective consciousness. And so we're just going to actually start um, drawing in and asking the angelic realm and the angelic host, the miracle mantle, the mighty Elohim, seraphim, cherubim, archangels, cosmic angels, all these beloved ancient angels, really ancient angels that have been here on the earth for so long, to also begin helping us along with the ascended masters, begin uh, downloading, like dropping in and just pulling out of the collective consciousness any of the fears, concerns, worries, negativity, fear, discord, human effluvia, out of the atmosphere, sustained in the violet transmuting flame, and just dropping it down into the heart of the earth. Again, to be consumed, transmuted, and requalified into something beautiful, something evolved, something that's going to help the earth and its own evolution and all sentient life to evolve. A big one right now is the uh, coronavirus, and we're just going to love it. We're just going to bless the coronavirus. It's just another entity, another energy. And we're just sending our blessings of infinite love, adoration, and gratitude and drawing it out of the atmosphere down back into the heart of the earth to be requalified. Any of the climate change issues, any political issues, financial issues. Again, and just watching this drain, almost like a Drano effect with the violet transmuting flame and Archangel Michael, the Elohim of peace, Mary Magdalene's energy, just helping to draw this energy down. <clears throat> into the sacred heart of the earth, being consumed in these sacred heart fires, sacred heart of the earth with infinite love, adoration, and gratitude. 
and just feeling it lighten up because it, you know, each of us might be carrying a fair amount that's been going on in the collective, and we're just dropping it all down to be transmuted by the sacred heart of the planet. Beloved Helios and Vesta, Gaia. And just feeling how the earth is able to use this energy, requalify it, and redistribute it as pure light on the planet. Helping the planet to be healthier, wiser, knowing that you deserve more and more unconditional love at all times, as does all sentient life, all of life, whether it be on this planet or <clears throat> other planets, other dimensions. But it's just a universal truth. We all deserve more and more unconditional love at all times, not less. And again, just feeling your heart start to unravel with that statement as we're going deeper now into that heart energy. You know, I deserve more and more unconditional love at all times, not less. And just feeling that the sacredness of that truth, that universal truth. And then also in the unraveling all of life within this dimension, other dimensions, this world, other worlds, deserves more and more unconditional love at all times, not less. Whew, and just feeling that burden lift off of you, that there's this higher source energy. And it's really taking care of all of us. It's all right. Okay, now as we've grounded the energy and we've helped to clean up some of that collective energy that's been spinning around, we're ready to start moving and soul traveling upward now. So just imagine this elevator from the heart of the earth in this beautiful cave in the center of the planet, center our beloved Gaia, and allowing this elevator to come back up through the earth, coming back into your heart, into this resting space. <clears throat> And to balance our energy, we're going to come into a one heart breath. We're coming into a one heart breath. And, and this is one of the exercises that uh, Mary Magdalene has taught in some of the quests that I've taught over this past year or two, um, is coming into a one heart breath with your own divine presence. And you may call that, I call it the cosmic Christ presence. Some people may call it the I am presence, uh, divine presence, higher presence, whatever word works for you is great. But you are wanting to take that part of you that has that higher consciousness to it and, and draw it down to stand before you, right? So you're actually drawing down this divine presence, this higher conscious part of you to stand before you and with a one heart breath, what you're doing is you're leaning into it as it comes down to stand as a light, a light ray before you, however you visually or emotionally feel it in front of you. You lean in with your left shoulder because you want your heart over its heart. It's sort of like a, um, an energetic presence of your physical being. And so you lean in with your left heart and you just hold it. You give it a hug and let it hug you. It's a really comforting feeling, usually. So bringing in and just feeling into um, how it feels to be held in this divinely loving presence. It's usually something at first that your inner child has always wanted to feel. Perhaps it's safe or protected or maybe it's peaceful. It might be very expanded, joyful. But this is you becoming whole. This is you becoming one within yourself. It is the love of your life. It is the thing that you want to say to it, I choose you above all else. It's like it's this infinity symbol between you and it. I choose you above all else, my beloved divine presence. You are the love of my life. Just breathing into that because it's in that wholeness that it allows us to start it starts healing our self-confidence, our self-esteem, our um, any insecurities. And the biggest thing it helps to heal, which is really important in working with Mary Magdalene's energy because she is a force to be reckoned with when she comes in, is it helps to heal one of our greatest illusions, which is separation. And so whether we're looking at uh, viruses, economics, political struggles, uh, the fear of death, loss of loved ones, um, uh, 
feeling trapped in a relationship, feeling abandoned or rejected. If you're not in a relationship, there's just all these issues, but you know, sickness and illness and uh, financial struggles, all these things are really coming from a sense of separation, right? And one of the things that Mary Magdalene is super gifted at is she operates, it's like her operating system is coming from the law of one. It's coming from oneness in this very high frequency energy of pure love. So if you looked at love, there's um, unconditional love, there's divine love, there's um, self-love, there's all these different frequencies of love. And so with this one heart breath, one of the ways that we come into oneness is that you're coming into alignment with um, notice whatever frequency you most need to feel in the moment. For me, it's usually safety and protection. It's just how I grew up. And for me, that's one of the first things that comes in. But then some other qualities come in and you can drop feeling tones, elevated emotions into the field. Uh, one that I tend to choose to drop into the field is bliss. You know, yours might be joy or happiness or gratitude. These are higher elevated emotions that you want to start raising your vibration to, right? But one that I want to make sure that we always add in is unconditional love and acceptance. And so as you're in this one heart breath that you're literally feeling held by this higher aspect of consciousness, this higher truth of who you are, your own divine presence is that you are breathing into feeling unconditionally loved and accepted. Because this is the thing that we usually lose ourselves to other people, that we usually give our power away. It generates a lot in the pain body and all kinds of things, right? So what's going to help is coming into unconditional love and acceptance within yourself, that you don't have to project that onto somebody any longer. It frees you up and you realize that you're whole, that you have this immense wholeness within you. And so as you're breathing into that energy, and this is giving us the strength and the connection again as we're going to start soul traveling now as we call into a quantum prayer field, holding all of us and just feeling the connection of all of us joining into this quantum prayer field, this beautiful energy of this quantum prayer field. And just greeting everybody because on the inner levels, um, we're all here, whether you're making it on this call or you're going to listen to the replay later. And so I just want you to say hello to everybody else that's joining into this call all over the world tonight, joining in and just saying hello and smiling to them and just welcoming them in with infinite love, adoration, gratitude, uh, with that energy of peace, infinite blessings. And as we open up our quantum prayer field and we're greeting one another, now allow everybody to greet you. Like feel the hellos and the gratitude and the blessings coming back to you for your own energy. And just feeling this, this symbiotic uh, energy of our group, a very uh, healthy frequency and group energy starting to build. And it's just a really lovely feeling, allowing that, that synergy to begin created amongst all of us. And what we're inviting in now um, into our um, quantum field, and <coughs> excuse me, I'm coming off of a cold from this past week from some uh, traveling into the south I did. Um, and uh, anyway, so you're just gonna have to bear with me as we go through this, but, um, we're going to call in now to the great divine director and we're bringing in the ray of harmony, harmonizing and synergizing our group and aligning this vibration amongst us. And so the ray of harmony is going to come in like a, uh, a ray of like a rainbow ray of colors. And as it comes in these rainbow rays, you may notice some of the, the colors in the rainbow, might be a little stronger than others based on what you may personally need in this moment and what the group energy and what it's doing is it's fine tuning our frequency as we go into these elevated states of consciousness, illumination, higher aspects of hope and uh, miracle energy. And um, I want to thank Gloria Oizel for, uh, channeling and bringing that information in. It's quite lovely and it works with the higher chakra system. <clears throat> and 
So breathing into this energy, watching the ray of harmony come in and harmonizing our group frequency. Noticing any color rays that are coming to you, any golden or platinum colors, any reds, oranges, pinks, violets, magentas, yellows. These, this rainbow has many different colors to it perhaps. Whatever frequency your soul needs. And I want you to notice what color is coming directly into your energy field. And then for the ray of Mary Magdalene, we're calling in this, this color frequency of magenta and golden to highlight, to uh, begin weighing into our energy field, into our group consciousness, this magenta and golden rose quartz blend of energy. Coming in and overlighting us and just welcoming her in. She's been here, but we're just, as we've been preparing ourselves, she is now coming into our energy and just feeling her beloved presence, this force to be reckoned with, this energy of uh, magnetism and uh, higher, the frequency of pure love coming straight from source energy. Raising your vibration that you can almost feel it like a, maybe like chills or like a elevated feeling of this raised vibration clearing our consciousness, our chakra centers, our light body. And now she's gonna begin guiding us, right? As this portal of light begins to open above our head, this portal of light opening above our head and drawing us up through this portal of light and almost like shooting us like, uh, like starlight out into her etheric retreat in this more universal realm of life. And just feeling us just shoot through that energy with the great central sun angels coming in, singing, toning, chanting the sacred names of our own source energy. Just feeling this vibration, this resonance. And as we enter now into this magnificent temple of light, of Mary Magdalene. And with your inner eye, begin to notice your surroundings as we enter into this beautiful temple of pure light. Hearing any of the celestial spheres, the angelic choirs, the um, It's almost like the crystal bowls and the gong bass, the gemstone frequencies of light, any fragrances. Noticing these cosmic and galactic, very high beams of light that dwell at this realm with her. Also working with her, the energy joining us tonight is Babaji, the uh, yogi from the Himalayas, who, the eternal one, and feeling Babaji's consciousness joining us tonight. Feeling all the order of the Magdalens, Grandmother Anna. Mother Mary, the Sacred Heart Angels, calling forth to Isis, Shiva, Kali, Kuan Yin, Lady Nada, Lady Portia, <coughs> the Goddess of Light, goddess of liberty and just feeling all these beloved feminine presences coming in to support you personally but also the residents of the earth and bringing in a download 
a rebalancing of the energy of the divine feminine, this ancient wisdom that supports and governs this planet, that dwells within every human being, within every being, within every tree, within every plant and flower, this presence of every animal, how it overlights the rivers and the streams, the waterways, the, the elementals, the devas, the air, the fire, the earth itself. And so feeling how the divine feminine, as it streams in like this, um, that even though different beings, different human beings maybe have carried the face of the divine feminine at times, like Mother Mary or Sheba or Isis, that really in the energy, this divine feminine is a presence that's effervescent, it's, uh, that it's everywhere. <clears throat> it's in all living beings on this planet. There is no separation from it. As the energy holding of source itself, And so now Mary Magdalene is, we're invited into this temple, coming into a amphitheater style room that holds within it different elements of um, its own garden, its own sacred garden. And just noticing the luminescence of her garden. <laughs> the light is a little bit different here, the colors of flowers and trees. In this etheric realm, everything might look a little brighter the fragrances, the sounds, the waterfalls, the beings that she has brought to sustain here in her temple that dwell within it, the crystalline structures, and just meandering, walking through her garden within this great temple. And just noticing where you feel most comfortable Finding a comfortable place to rest on the inner levels, to be able to sit in prayer position, meditation position. And feeling your consciousness start to open to the consciousness of this, of Mary Magdalene's etheric temple of light. It's a very high consciousness and just feeling your, your eight chakra, your higher chakra system starting to attune and begin vibrating within resonance to her temple, her presence, her etheric resonance. And her and the, um, she and these cosmic angels of light are stepping forward and they're wanting to offer you a gift uh, of helping to clear anything in your consciousness and in your light body that could be um, adjusted, realigned, transmuted at this time. So with your permission, just saying yes to that. If you want to give permission, no. If you don't, either way is fine. And if you do, we're just allowing the consciousness of Mary Magdalene's energy as well as uh, these <coughs> great and cosmic uh, angelic beings to come forth. And you may notice them just placing their hands almost above your head. Mary Magdalene's energy sending rays of light from her heart to your heart and these cosmic angels like these golden white very tall angels streaming energy down through your body helping to clear your consciousness your light body your chakra system your etheric body helping to transmute and clear any karmic frequencies that you've been carrying maybe there's burdens that you've been carrying from this life or other lifetimes, this dimension, or other lifetimes that can now be transmuted, released, evolved. That's just time to just have it tweaked a little, just to let it go now. That it may not be serving you any longer. Releasing um, 
any elements of and transmutation of the pain body, the soul contracts, soul agreements. any karmas, that knowing that all is forgiven between you and others and others and you. And just being willing, like what if it was just that simple, a willingness just to let it go, <laughs> to be transmuted into your own soul wisdom. And so noticing as these uh, contracts, karmas, um, any darkness, shadows, illusions of separation, negative thought forms of self, spiritual misaligned thought forms, that within this matrix of energy right now in this quantum prayer field, that's all being uh, transmuted, cleared, and watching it begin to transmute into your heart chakra now, into the soul's wisdom, the soul's wisdom that you've gained from all this, that you've learned. Sometimes it can take us 15 different lifetimes of playing things out and working with others as we gain the, the wholeness, the fullness of our soul's wisdom. And so now looking at the, the measure, the weight of the soul's wisdom you've gained from all these experiences, again, calling in the energy of the Holy Spirit, the flames of forgiveness, the Elohim of grace, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Michael, helping to clear and transmute any of these karmic frequencies. Instantly gaining your soul's wisdom. And I just want you to imagine as this energy is transmuted from a shadow into light, from uh, pain or fear into love, into your love body, into your soul body, your love body. And watching that, that wisdom over all this time, eons of time of your consciousness to be gained here, that it's actually funding your life path now. It's helping you. It's, it's been the, uh, the, the catalyst and the wisdom gained to fulfill the soul blueprint that you came in this lifetime to ignite, to fulfill the gift of unconditional love you came to give. And as this energy is clearing, gaining your soul's wisdom, breathing it into your heart, and now allowing it to rise even higher into your mental body, your higher mental body, and realigning any neuroemotional pathways that need to be adjusted so that you can literally start perceiving the soul's wisdom and perceiving yourself and the world around you from this perception of higher wisdom, higher knowing, higher enlightenment. And just allowing this adjustment now with these cosmic angels and Mary Magdalene. <coughs> ah, excuse me. And gaining it in your mental body. A transmutation of how you think, how you perceive. Seeing yourself in your own reflection of self. Seeing others in the world around you at this higher light. Seeing it through the eyes of love, seeing through your heart through the eyes of love, hearing through the energy of love. Because at the, at the end of all of it, all you are is love. And that's one of, again, Mary Madeline's deeper teachings is that's why the law of love, the law of one um, being synonymous, and she's helping us to move not only in our own consciousness from separation to oneness, but as we're doing this within ourselves, it's also helping the collective consciousness to do the same. So you're literally a, uh, a steward of energy on the planet helping that frequency now. Okay, now, as she's clearing our energy field, helping us to integrate, and it's just a boon, it's a blessing, it's, a, um, uh, it's just an opportunity to her, for her to give you a gift and be of service right now to help clean up some stuff because as long as you were willing and you put in your 51% to say, hey, I'm here and I would like this energy, then what she does or any Ascended Master or Angel will come back and say, ah, oh, we'll, we'll help you out with the other 49%. So if you'll do your part, then um, we'll help you with this other part. It's so easy for us to help you clear it. So that is uh, what they're doing for us right now. And again, it's raising our vibration for this higher service. And so now, Again, from this resting place in this beautiful garden, this, this uh, space on the 
in Mary Magdalene's Temple of Light. Now there is an invitation for you to step forward to, um, if you're open, willing, um, and desiring, to become an emissary of light with the Order of Mary Magdalene, specifically, the Order of Mary Magdalene. Um, again, and this is where, you know, if you're choosing, again, it's by choice, you don't have to. There's many blessings in what we're doing tonight. And this is just another elevated energy coming in that if your answer is yes and you have an acceptance for it, that she is opening and aligning your energies um, and welcoming you in to be an emissary of light and love with her, uh, with her backing, with her blessing, with her energy and frequencies blessing you. So I'm just giving you a moment to see how you feel about that. Breathing into your heart of hearts, breathing into the energy of your own, uh, that one heart breath with your presence, and just ask the question, is this unconditionally loving for me? Would it be unconditionally loving for me to accept uh, being an emissary of light with her energy? watching the energy on the group level it seems like most everyone's kind of in a yes with this so again whether you are listening to the replay or you are listening now this energy is infinite it's eternal so whenever you are hearing this rehearing it or sharing it with others this energy is being ignited so you might start to notice now what's happening um, if you said a yes is that there is a fire it's almost like there is a it's like a transmission of light from her heart to your heart and it's like this this fire energy that she's sending directly into your energy into your consciousness to be a carrier for that frequency of the order of Mary Magdalene And just breathing in and breathing out. And we're just feeling this, this transmission of light, which is this high frequency love showing up maybe like a, uh, that magenta golden flame of light. Um, adding to your heart frequency, adding to your, um, your tribes and councils of light, adding to your conscious evolution, into your, even into your karmic records, like committing, you know, sometimes when we commit ourselves to be of higher service um, at an elevated level with um, our, the, the order of Archangel Michael, the order of um, Mary Magdalene, the order of uh, Lord Maitreya or Christ Consciousness or, um, you know, the Ashtar Command, when we, you know, kind of commit to be of service on these higher levels, we're adding to our own stream of consciousness and, and wisdom. Um, but it can also, because of the higher service that we are choosing, or we're using our free will to say yes, then what happens is that it will literally sometimes um, support us and make a, a, a mark, a positive kind of uh, mark within our own Akashic record of service that we are willing to render. And so she's just saying that there's great support here for you. So she's like actually coming in now and, and beginning to um, not just transmit energy, transmission of light and light frequencies, these light frequencies, if you said yes, are going to be downloading through you while you sleep. And it feels like even over the next six weeks, actually, because it'll come in pulses, comes in waves. Um, 
but she's saying there's there's great support here for you and one thing that she's going to be doing it feels like is helping us to remember love that love is actually so simple and that oftentimes what happens is particularly for those of us I'd imagine most of the people who might have signed up for this particular call um, and who are interested in this kind of work is that you're an empath you're not just an empath you're a high empath you're not just a high empath you have special traits special intuitive gifts and so she's gonna start fine-tuning you um, within your your higher empathy your higher telepathy your higher um, intuitions and um, how your your higher gifts which are oftentimes sort of dumbed down by society like when society doesn't understand these gifts and these sensitivities that we have it'll be almost like in order for us to fit in we have to dumb them down and um, in order to be accepted or to fit in and what she wants to do is help to break that myth and start um, fine-tuning and um, expanding and teaching you how to use these gifts um, that you were really born with so you were born with them and I'm sure that there's different teachers or messengers or books you've read or things that you've done or your own meditations and uh, guidance where you have held on to them to some degree but she is a master teacher she's not like just any teacher she is a master teacher even amongst ascended masters she is considered a master teacher and a cosmic avatar and so you have invited in a cosmic avatar of really great measure to step in to be a uh, master teacher with you and so she's going to start highlighting those gifts and you may notice them just subtly starting to show up in your life and opportunities to start practicing them more. Um, a lot of times uh, these beings of light, Mary Magdalene, will work with you during your sleep time. Um, so you might find that's becoming a more active place for you and that you need more rest and more water because with the type of work we're doing and so much of the cosmic light, water is a great conductor of that, but your physical body actually really needs it. You might find that your certain things, certain foods or habits, um, people may fall away in your life. And you may also find that some of, um, you know, your tendency to move towards healthier habits, superfoods, uh, yogas, qigong, tai chi, uh, you know, healthier people and relationships in your life also start to come your way. Um, one of the frequencies that she's bringing in now again she's fine-tuning this the whole time I'm talking but she's moving from that transmission of this magenta kind of golden flame of light in her heart as a communication like a um, it's almost like having with this transmission of light it makes it very easy for her to communicate directly to you through your heart center by having this frequency that you're holding in your heart um, and now it's like she's moving more into the crown of light into our higher mental body she's moving into that frequency and she's fine-tuning our higher mental body um, to begin um, being toned and kind of tuned up to taking these frequencies of light so we're moving from the heart center now we're moving to the higher mental body um, primarily probably the eighth chakra and so noticing the energy of your eighth chakra the chakra about you know 18 inches above your head here noticing that chakra <clears throat> above your head and the crown of light that you receive rays of creation from like a halo almost but it has crowns to it And she's beginning to fine-tune your neuroemotional pathways, crown of light, that halo around your head, your higher mental body, and downloading frequencies and direct, very highly focused codes of light. So I'm going to give that a moment. and just feeling into it it's almost like sparks of light
so that you can hear her, perceive her, direct communication. So she will not just be working with you in your sleep, which is a great place to go in and learn a lot in these temples of light, but she's going to be working with you in your, um, your, waking, your waking presence as well, directing you. And so, like, let's say she, um, that there's somebody that you just get a direct communication to reach out to, um, you know, and you're walking through your day, and what she's doing with her higher self right now, our higher frequencies, is it's an awakening. She's awakening your higher mind, and there's a direct communication coming from her to you. And in this direct communication, she is um, going to be guiding you very literally to go talk to that person or to make that phone call or to turn right instead of left or to um, change this behavior, uh, whatever it might be. So she is going to be working on that level with you. Um, and it might seem a little odd at first, but I just want you to notice being okay. Like it's something that a lot of us actually pray for is, hey, be more direct in your guidance with me and I will do it, right? I will to will thy will, just make it direct. So in her frequency, she is going to be very direct. Like I said, Mary Magdalene, she is, um, she is a force to be reckoned with. She has a very direct way of communicating and does not mess around. And so when you hear this, I'm just making it very conscious to you that she will be communicating. And that's why she's not only communicating through the feeling tone of your heart, but she's going to be communicating through your higher mental body. And um, you might have a tendency to listen to one more than another just based on who you are um, in your soul resonance. But really both are going to be activated in this case. And just to pay attention, to be present to that. Okay, so the initiation is an emissary of light, the transmission of the magenta golden flame in the heart and this diamond frequency in your mind, your higher mind. So <clears throat> this diamond frequency. Clearing through your nervous system, your kundalini, your spinal column, your chakra systems, and coming, bringing all your chakras into direct alignment. And just feeling how each chakra might be vibrating in different levels, and that she's bringing them into a more direct communication with one another. Okay, so through our chakra system, there is another direct uh, influence of light. <laughs> that she's kind of directing from her higher mental body. And what she's doing now is she's pulling in these cosmic, universal, and galactic frequencies. So it's three different frequencies. Cosmic, universal, galactic frequencies. She's drawing them in through her crown chakra, her higher mental body, and directing them into our chakra system. The entire chakra system, one through seven, as well as the eighth soul chakra above our head, going up to, it feels like she's going to take us up to about the 14th chakra above our head, right? So the seven in the body and up to the 14th above our head. And she's awakening them. She's uh, igniting them in a frequency of light, igniting them in a frequency of light, to be in direct communication with one another, but to now become receiving agents, like spinning disks of light, but they're going to become receiving disks of light for the universal, cosmic, galactic downloads that are not only supporting your unique life path, your highest life path, not just any life path, but she's directing it towards your highest life path, your highest potential, but also these 
as an emissary of light, you're being like this direct um, grounding agent for the planet itself. So as these frequencies come onto the planet, you're now like a walking acupuncture point, allowing these higher elements of energy to bless you, bless your frequency, your consciousness, and then to stream into the earth, blessing all sentient life and blessing the earth. And just feeling that energy through all your chakras become activated, awakened, toned to these higher frequencies, feeling how it comes all the way down your spinal column, that light that's coming down, that tube of light coming down from the hip area all the way down into the earth star chakra beneath your feet. <laughs> And so just your very presence here is making a difference <clears throat> that you have already contributed. You're already doing your part. Okay, now there's this final frequency that she's wanting to bring in. And it's a final frequency. And this is specifically related to your life path. And it's the frequency of happiness. It's maybe we take too much too serious sometimes, right? Particularly as healers or people with special traits and higher empathy and higher intuition um, because we do pick up on so much and we're aware of so much it becomes almost kind of like a burden at times right and so what she's wanting to do is to lift that burden actually to make our life a lot simpler a lot easier and really focus on your happiness and so she's there's um happiness is an elevated emotion that has a tone to it and so what she's doing is she's sending it. And if you're audible, you might hear it if you're audibly intuitive. But it's like there's this tone, this frequency that she's downloading into your system. And what she's saying is that like there's been perhaps certain experiences, life experiences you've had, certain traumas, certain um, overwhelm that you've had. And what it's done is it's distorted your capacity to maybe – remember the tone of happiness or to remember the presence of happiness to remember the energy of it but that that is part of what's in your heart part of what your love is is about being able to maintain that sense of happiness so um in your energy then she's toning your energy <laughs> she's like recalibrating your system back to your perfect happiness like my happiness might be different than your happiness might be different than somebody else's happiness but we all have the frequency of happiness within us um and she's wanting to ground it into every cell every electron uh within our body our light body the remembrance of our soul our soul body and um retonifying it requalifying it beyond anything that maybe has distorted your happiness so kind of taking it back to this this primal um, happiness of energy and allowing that frequency to uh, resonate in vibrational resonance to you so that you can then um, harmonize your life to it so again just listening to the energies and you're almost like listening for the frequency of happiness listening to the frequency of happiness in its highest caliber of light and energy and feeling the happiness aligning to the happiness Hearing the happiness, knowing the happiness, accepting the happiness, feeling worthy of the happiness, feeling whole within your own happiness. Again, so as we come into that one heart breath, as we're starting to now descend, we're descending now from the temples of Mary Magdalene, those higher light temples. We're descending and we're coming down back into your body and just feeling yourself coming back down, taking a deep breath, 
stretching, maybe tapping over your heart center for a moment, just tapping there, locking this frequency in, calling into your perfect happiness is your life path. It's the thing that you want to keep noticing if you're on your life path or not, does it bring me happiness? Another way of asking the question that I would highly recommend utilizing as you move forward is, um, is this unconditionally loving for me? That will always, the answer to that will always bring you happiness, okay? So again, you can start asking the question, is this unconditionally loving for me? And if it is, do it. And if it doesn't, don't. You know what I mean? Or figure out what does bring unconditional happiness to you or unconditional love to you. And that will be the frequency within the heart of listening to your own soul energy, but also the Mary Magdalene energy. And then that becomes your guide, your feeling tone of happiness, your inner listening for happiness, your inner awareness and, and um, conscious of happiness. That is going to be the frequency now of how she's communicating with you and even how your own soul is communicating to you and source energy is communicating to you and your angels and your guardian angels is happiness. That's, that's all it's about. Like just think about your life. That's all it's about. And whatever brings you happiness is the fulfillment of what you came here to do and to not to feel burdened by it, uh, not to feel burdened by life and a purpose that you came here to do, but really just the happiness and the peace of it. And that shifts the frequencies immensely. So again, as we're coming back in, coming into this one heart breath with your own divine presence, again, just that heartfelt hug, that hug with your own divine presence, feeling unconditionally loved and accepted, unconditional love and acceptance. And now we're dropping into it, the elevated emotion, the elevated feeling, be happy. Be happy is the uh, key, keyword, key frequency to your unique life purpose. And your happiness, again, might be different than my happiness. And that's what is actually starting to bring forth now, again, in working with Mary Magdalene, in terms of you showing up and being here with this, it's also um, an energy that is aligning uh, into the frequency a thousand years of peace. So, um, you know, moving into a new Lemurian age, moving into a golden age. And so, uh, you're just breathing into that, giving thanks that this is done, and so it is, giving infinite. Um, gratitude to Mary Magdalene, these cosmic uh, avatars, cosmic and galactic councils, these cosmic angels, to your own beloved higher presence, to the sacred heart of the earth, and then downloading the frequency all the way through your body, all the way down to the bottoms of your feet, into the sacred earth star, all the way down into the earth, be happy. So again, we're dropping into the earth, which then begins to resonate to all sentient life on the planet. We're sending in a message to it now, be happy. Locking that frequency in, locking it into your DNA, Locking into the codes within your heart, the heart codes. Locking it into the brain waves, the brain codes, into the nervous system, into your chakra system. Be happy. All right, as we're coming into a uh, close with that now, you can just take a deep breath. I'm just noticing if anybody want to put anything in the chat box, how you, uh, um, anything you had in that experience that you want to share, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and just taking a deep breath, noticing how you feel, what your experience was, and sharing it if you. Uh, if you like it, I'd love to hear. <sighs> 
I'm just letting everybody know. Um, well, I'm waiting to see if anybody wants to put any comments in to share about their experience. Um, sometimes it takes a minute. Um, I do have a uh, Soul Blueprint um, class that's coming up. <clears throat> And um, that starts on Tuesday, actually. Um, the cost of it is two forty nine, dollars and I uh, would love to have you join that if you're interested. I um, also have a membership that goes on once a month as well. So I uh, would love to continue working with you and elevating this energy and all the other beings of light that we also um, work with. In the energy here and um, it is 39 a month super affordable would love to work with you on either of these two things ongoing or if you're interested in expanding more of your uh, soul blueprint and I'm just putting here in the chat box if you're interested in the awaken course awaken your soul blueprint it's coming up that link is there there will also be um, a replay link yes there will be a replay link and please share it with any of your friends. This energy is sort of infinite, eternal. So um, anytime that you want to share it or re-listen to it, I highly recommend doing that. I just really want to thank everybody for showing up tonight and being a part of this with me um, and just helping to raise the vibration on the planet and uh, being at one, being happy with one another, really. So thank you so much for being on. And... Um, the call this evening I'm just eternally grateful um, for getting to do this work with you and for getting to share the energy and so, uh, so this tears stream to my face I feel whole wholeness is a really good one um, uh, feeling light so much gratitude to Mary Magdalene um, you know and just a deep resonance so thank you um, yeah just people kind of coming forth and um, yeah, I'm sharing their experience. So thank you. So if any other questions, please reach out. You can find me at mywildmagic.com and um, be happy to talk with you, share any, if you have any questions or concerns or anything else that's come up. Make sure you do drink plenty of water, coconut water, regular water, whatever you can. Drink plenty of water. Um, you might even want to stand barefoot on the earth if you can. Uh, take uh, salt baths. Anything like that will help. You might feel kind of altered for the rest of the evening, so I would watch anything you do, who you're around, trying to keep it in a more positive space. This energy you're probably going to feel pretty strongly over the next few days, but it will um, you know, continue to elevate, and it feels like it's going to be working very directly with us for about the next six weeks very strongly, and then you're going to find it becomes just more of an integrated part of your life. Um, and again, remember, she is communicating very directly to you. Um, Dawn, yeah, thank you. Highly recommend the Soul Blueprint and the monthly groups. They are transformational, so thank you. Um, yep, sending you love, Dawn. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you were on the call tonight. Okay, so uh, love all of you so much. Thank you, and we will uh, be in touch. Okay, good evening.